Officials, as we mentioned, with the Homeland Security Department say they have identified more than 500 criminals traveling with that caravan flow of Central American migrants headed to the U.S. They say the caravan is made up mostly of single adult or teen males who placed women and children at the front of the line in an effort to gain sympathetic media coverage. And there is new backlash tonight against some of those migrants, but it's not from the Trump administration. It's from Mexicans living in Tijuana. National correspondent William Lajeunesse is in Tijuana again tonight. Good evening, William. Good evening, Brett. You know, illegal immigration is not new to Mexico. Generations of Central Americans have used it as a stepping stone into the United States. But this caravan, the numbers, how they crossed, how they've acted, seem to have awakened a silent, now vocal minority against them. Tension in Tijuana. We uh, are here because our government has not uh, taken control of these, what we call invasions. Shouting, Hondurans go home and Viva Mexico. Riot police Sunday stopped hundreds of Mexicans trying to storm the migrant shelter. They fear crime, a loss of jobs, depressed wages in a country where 40% already live in poverty. I'm not really um, in favor of them coming the way they did. You know, to me, it feels like um, they invaded. Nearby a counter protest, supporters say Mexico should welcome and protect immigrants. It's important that, that we consider that uh, our Mexican brothers are also in the same situation. The shelter Sunday remained on lockdown till protesters went home. We are here for work, to have a better life, and no trouble, not troublemakers. More than 6,000 caravan migrants arrived in Tijuana. Their shelter looking now like a refugee camp, as many realize they cannot easily cross the border, and any asylum interview is at least five weeks away. I tell them it's better for you to get a job and start working right, and then get out of your head trying to cross the border. This morning, for the first time, the U.S. shut down the San Ysidro port of entry. Secretary Kirsten Nielsen saying in a tweet, CBP believed a, quote, large number of caravan migrants plan to rush the border to gain illegal access to the U.S. So by shutting down lanes and slowing traffic, by shutting down lanes, slowing traffic, uh, increasing wait times, President Trump is sending a message to Mexico City to stop these caravans and their southern borders or face consequences here on the north. It's a language, Brett, that everyone understands. Time is money. Brett. William Lajeunesse live in Mexico tonight. William, thank you.